This video shows how a mentor can provide feedback to assist the mentee to improve their performance. The mentor should build rapport at the start of a feedback session to set the mentee at ease. Now tell me, Jared, did you enjoy the game tonight? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, actually. Um, yeah, good game. I, I know we didn't have a capacity crowd out there, but they still made a lot of noise. It was a bit of a battle for us to hear each other, actually. And the fact it was close made it really enjoyable too. Now mate, what do you think you did really well tonight? Well, pretty comfortable with most of it. I mean, I think our decision making was close to spot on. And we got a good speed in the ruck, so I was happy with that. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess there were just a couple of instances where it was a bit unsighted with things that happened in the play the ball. I guess that can happen in any game, you get, get unsighted. The mentor should use questions to encourage the mentee to self-reflect. So, Jerry, where do you see the, uh, the areas for improvement? Well, if we had picked up those few little things around the play the ball, it would have been the icing on the cake. It would have felt as if we really nailed it. So, I guess to pick up those things would be the, be the goal for next time. So, the last time we met, you, you really wanted to work on your focus and vocab at the play the ball. How do you think that went today? The mentor can provide advice to help the mentee improve their performance. Yeah, well, you can see there that the Dragons player puts a hand in and knocks the ball out and it should have been a penalty. The thing was, the touch judge was calling to me for a penalty at the same time the pocket referee was saying it was a lost ball. So it just came through as garbled to me. Well, I know the communication might have been garbled, but really, you're the central referee, you're the control guy, um, you really should have seen it. So tell me about your positioning. Yeah, well, I hadn't looked at positioning that much, but. When you look on there, I'm probably only one or two metres wide of the play the ball, and I'm kind of trying to peer around and in at it to get a clear view, and I, I just didn't get a clear view from there. So if you had your time over again, uh, what would you do? How would you change things? Well, I guess looking at it now, I put myself a few metres wider. Maybe actually turn my body so I'm looking back in at the play the ball. There may be times when the mentor and mentee disagree and the mentor needs to defuse conflict. Now, I want to talk about the, the communication it, yeah. because it really looked as if the, the Newcastle skipper was, was running the show. Oh, oh, I don't know about that. I mean, it's just a straight out penalty. And sure, he questions it, but I give him a response and we move on. Why do you think he took that liberty with you and, and came at you the way that he did? Yeah, look, I'm probably not that confident because I haven't seen what's actually gone on. And maybe that invites him to, to question me. I don't think he's seen what's happened either, but the fact I haven't gives him scope to, to come in and and ask me a question. Let me show you some of these great advantages. That Establishing an action plan will provide the mentee with a way forward to improve their performance. Well, Jerry, just to wrap up, I thought you contributed really well to a terrific game of football. I thought some of the advantages that you played were, were wonderful. Or overall, I've never looked, seen you look fitter or better. Well, yeah, I was pretty happy with it overall. I think we got the big things right, so I was happy with that. And we left it to the players to determine the result. We weren't a talking point at the end. So, yeah, it was good. I think it's just that fine tuning of positioning around the play the ball, working on getting in that tight ruck and, and creating that angle so that we've got vision in there. Yep, and in relation to that, I want you to have a talk to Bill before the next training session yeah. Thursday and, and work on, on developing a couple of drills that you can practise and, and yeah. make sure that you get used to the new angles that you'll be running. Yeah, and I've noticed a couple of guys in the squad are actually really good at it in around that area. So I might get their DVD and, and just have a look at where they go to in that scenario. And I'm sure if we get some guys running some sets into the try line and I practice getting into position at the tight ruck and get comfortable in that position, you know, it should be something I can carry forward next week. When providing feedback, mentors should build rapport with the mentee Mentors use open questions and active listening skills to encourage mentees to self-reflect. Mentors provide advice and suggestions for improvement. If mentees get upset by negative feedback, 
mentors diffuse the conflict. The development of an action plan will assist the mentee in the future.